Labor Day has passed. That means one thing, the first day of school. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of students across the state head back to class today. And Edward Moody went back to school too. He's at Highland Park <laughs> High School in St. Paul today. Hi, Edward. Hi, Jason. Yeah, I'm going back to school this morning, Highland Park uh, Senior High School. So we're looking forward to the start of the school day. We even brought in some teachers super early to talk to us this morning. This is Bethany McGraw and uh, Andy Timmer. Good morning to you both. Uh, so you are both what they call AVID teachers uh, in the district. Tell us what that is. What do you do? So AVID is an acronym, and it stands for Advancement Via Individual and it really helps students prepare for college, get the organization prep that they need, and social, emotional, and academic support to get them college ready. And it's usually the students who are underrepresented in college and might need a little more support than they would get at home. So you provide so much just to put them on the right track. It's like a, a family. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, Andy, let's talk a little bit about this school year. Uh, the kids are coming this morning. What's what's uh, some of the challenges you think that, that the students face coming into this new school year? Sure, I think a big thing is kind of getting on a schedule. In the summer it's really easy to get off a schedule and sleep till noon and that, but just kind of getting on that sleep schedule and kind of getting back into the school mind is, is a tough thing for a lot of kids. So it, It's hard for adults to get back on the proper sleep schedule, I would imagine, too. Um, as far as parents, parents who are listening and watching, you know, the kids are going to have homework, extracurricular, home life. How, how should they, what are some tips on balancing all of that, do you think? Sure. Well, one thing we do in our AVID class is have students be have an organizer, either electronic or paper or whatever, but just have an organizer, a week plan of what you have going on, maybe football practice Monday night and Tuesday night, and just be aware of what's going on. So if you have a test on Wednesday, you can plan, have a couple of days to plan uh, for things like that so you can be ready to go. I, if I had had such advice when I was younger. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you both for joining us this morning. Bethany, um, as we finish out this, this live segment, the kids are going to be here in about, what, like an hour, an hour and a half, or two hours. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you want to say to parents, teachers watching this morning, ready for this new school year? Um, just have a great school year. Come into it with an open mind and a clean slate, and have fun. Yeah, open those minds. Get ready for learning. All right, thank you both for joining us so, so early this morning, Absolutely. and good luck to you in the new school year. All right, guys, back to you. That's going to be a long first day for them. Edward, mm -hmm. these teachers are so young. Am I just getting old? <laughs> yes, we're just getting old, Jason. That's what's That's happening. All right. <laughs> That's Thanks, what buddy. it is. We